<sighs> What's up, guys? How's it going? All right, so one full year in the books. Today marks the day at the store. October 16th of 2021, I opened up. It is now October 16th of 2022. So one year in business review, I wanted to make a video of what, you know, you can realistically, me, you know, pretty much doing this alone for the majority of the one year. It's not one full calendar year, just 365 days. So we'll do a little review of, you know, our total sales and everything like that. I'm not going to go granularly into like every single line item because it would literally take me like 45 minutes. We're just going to do an estimate, roll with the numbers. Again, this is not to like brag because it is not a brag whatsoever because you'll see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just basically realistically with constant reinvestment because it's literal constant reinvestment. I do not take, <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough. I do not take a lot of money out of this business, if any, almost zero. I'm taking the Jeff Bezos approach Mr. Beast approach of constant reinvestment. I reinvest every single penny back into it. And I'm going to do that until I can't do it anymore. I'm going to do it for at least the first five years. Three to five years. That's the plan. So first year down, constant reinvestment. <sighs> All right. So like I said, we started the business with the starting bankroll of um, $20,000 in inventory and um, what was it? 25,000 in inventory, no, 19,000 in inventory and 40,000 in the bank. Now, this that 19,000 in inventory grew to multiple six figures in inventory right now. We're probably sitting at, if I had to guess, probably 400,000 in inventory right now, four to five, which my goal was to hit six figures in inventory by the end of the year, which we <laughs> very clearly <laughs> overshot a little bit. So that's good. Um, so yeah, what we made this year total in sales, between everything, between eBay, Amazon, uh, the store, uh, what else? TCG player, uh, everything. First year of business, we did 600,000 in sales, a little over 600,000, which I know you're saying, wow, that's a lot of money. It's really not. <laughs> It's really not. Uh, when you get down to it, and of course, with the constant reinvesting strategy that I have, um, just with my main distributor alone, I've spent so far to date about $230,000 in acquiring inventory. That's just my main distributor. That's not including, you know, the four, three to four other distributors I have, which I spend quite a bit with as well. So if I had to guess right now, which I, you know, I'm not, it's not the end of the year, I'm not doing taxes, so I really don't know the exact number, I just sort of ballparked it. Um, probably I would say we've spent three to 400,000 in inventory purchases uh, this year. Now that's just inventory, not including, you know, capital improvements, which I've done. I've upgraded all the tables, I've upgraded all the chairs, I've uh, bought new displays, new fixtures, new computers. Um, I bought new filing cabinets for upstairs. I bought uh, shipping stations, uh, <laughs> standing uh, motorized desks so we can work better. Um, 
all new racks for the uh, warehouse. Uh, oh, geez, so much stuff. The sorter, the card sorter. <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff I've put back into it. And that's that's the, the strategy that I want to implement in my business. Every time someone comes into my store, I want them to see something different. I want them to be like, oh, wow, I didn't see that. Or, you know, I want them to notice that I'm changing. It's constantly changing, constantly improving. Because once you sort of uh, go into a groove and just go with the status quo and just whatever, then it's, you know, you might as well just get a regular job. Because that's what you do at a regular job. You clock in and clock out. You put no... <laughs> um, improvement in and you just do it it's just you know it's just whatever you're on autopilot i don't want to be that way i want to constantly improve so there's that uh so yeah about four hundred thousand, three to four hundred thousand purchased in inventory alone which is an insane amount um that's six hundred thousand in sales about one hundred thousand of it in general was um on amazon alone uh tcg player was about 60 to seventy thousand, and now mind you my tcg player my main tcg player account it's derived solely of bulk mo more or less primarily bulk any card valued over like 25 cents or like a dollar depends on the set depends on everything it depends on sales velocity all that other crap um i keep for the store you know because margins are better in the store of course so that is crazy now that's all primarily stuff that's been traded into the store um i you know sort it i sift through it i pull out the goodies and i the rest goes on TCG player. So yeah, that's that with, you know, sales and everything. I know like we're on track for next year to do uh, seven figures. Um, that's, you know, the future projections and everything. Um, you know, we're, we're very slowly adding new people to the, um, the store with the working or helping part-time, whatever sort of hit my cap with being able to handle things on my by myself because uh i actually <laughs> have developed carpal tunnel in my wrist i think from shipping so much uh singles we do you know hundreds a day of course and you know you can only do something so long before your <laughs> body breaks down mine being my wrist when i first <clears throat> opened up <clears throat> I think the like first month we did maybe like 10 to 15,000 in sales and then the second month the same thing during Christmas time and it was looking pretty grim those first few months I was like oh, man I really don't know how to do this I really don't know what to do and then a switch just went off man and I was just like the gears started going and I just figured out how to squeeze every single little penny out of these cards. And that's pretty much the only way that you can run a business like this. I really don't know how a lot of places do a primarily like event focused uh, business. I it really... I don't see it being successful. I really don't. You have to do massive, massive volume in order for you to be able to... Like, I, I went to this store, and they had three people working. The four people working, two in the back, two in the front. And they primarily just do events. Like, I, I looked for their footprint online. I couldn't find it. Uh, I looked for their like TCG player or whatever or something 
and I just couldn't find it and they just run events and I'm just like how is this possible because I, I mean I know I know the numbers and I know like I know I know the amount of money you make when you run a draft or when you run it's nothing you're just selling a booster box sure you're selling things when they're in the store but you can't how many sleeves could you sell <laughs> i mean come on like how many sets of sleeves could you sell i mean on a really good like a pre-release maybe i'll sell 20 30 you know sets of sleeves and what does that make you you know, profit margin is good on supplies. It's like 50% sometimes. So that's good. But I mean, how much could you sell of that? Uh, I don't, I just don't know. You, you have to just do the, the insane volume. So yeah, the, the switch, the switch flipped and I just developed this sort of workflow that works for me it makes you know some decent margins i mean i'll tell you what it is it's pretty simple so what happens is any card under eight cents tcg player market value gets bulked out to either you know these amazon lots and all this other stuff that people want to build and start their collection you know it's very common in the industry you have to sell these cards somehow. They're very cheap. They're maybe ten, fifteen dollars for a thousand cards. Uh, whatever you sell them that way. Any card between eight to twenty-five cents gets put on TCG Player Direct. My TCG Player Direct account has a shipping rate of a dollar ninety-nine. So, if someone wants to buy a card from me directly on TCG Player on my TCG Player Direct account. They're going to pay an extra dollar in shipping. Now, that extra dollar in shipping is for me to facilitate the order. I know it sounds wrong, but I don't have enough time in the day. So, that dollar ninety-nine stops people from ordering from me. That's the whole reason I put it there. But, people still order from me <laughs> all the time. Every day, an extra 10, 20 orders on that account. So that's an extra 10 20 bucks a day in just shipping now any card over 25 cents i keep for the store they get listed on channel fireball my store website uh my tcg player website which is now integrated with channel fireball and people order them that way now the cards valued over 25 cents in from my experience have higher sales velocity and higher that people want them more so they're more likely to sell. So the volume's a lot greater. So that's pretty much the blueprint. I just gave you my blueprint <laughs> of how I grew the business. That's literally it. It's really nothing crazy, nothing sneaky craziness about it. It's just that's what you do. Sure, it's it's a lot easier for me to do it because of, you know, the infrastructure I developed with the sorter and you know the warehouse and everything like that but this is something that you can probably implement in your house tell you the truth <laughs> if you're able to get you know your hands on cheap product and everything like that <clears throat> which you know you could probably get cheap product let's be honest with you Amazon has a sale I just seen <sighs> I just seen a sale on Amazon Adventures, Adventures of the Forgotten Realms set booster boxes for $73. $73. That's like $15 less wholesale than I get them. I ordered 20. <laughs> Me as a store. <laughs> just to open because I'm like, that's just free money. And it's crazy that people like sec that like second guess that type of stuff. They're like, oh, seventy three dollars. I don't know. I don't know. It's like it's just free money. Just they just gave you like, if you ordered like twelve to eighteen boxes, they just handed you like three four hundred dollars. Sure, it's gonna be a lot of work, but it's a good start. <laughs> but guys, 
thank you so much for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. I'm hoping, you know, to make a year two video, year three video, year four video, so on and so forth. I'm really uh, thankful. I'm really happy all these stores reaching out to me and, you know, whether they're just starting out or if they've been around for a while. We, I have been talking to a lot of stores lately, premium stores, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's just great to see, you know, the little videos I make that help people, help people with starting this business, letting you know what the real <laughs> side of this business is. Because, you know, you walk into a store and it's kind of rare to actually have a one-on-one -on -one with the owner unless it's like a really really small small store which mines you know it's a small store but it's not really really small we have a big very very large online presence and I'm hoping to grow it more <sighs> all right here's to next year I'll see you guys later bye